My name is Tyler Swearingen and I am a game designer and computer engineer here at Shawnee State University. I am the co-director of our game for this senior project. Hi, my name is Michael Schumacher. I'm the other half of our team for this senior project and I am a game design programmer here at Shawnee State University. And this is our presentation on our senior project called One Last Jam. One Last Jam is a game that we've been working on for the past eight months. One Last Jam is a multi-genre adventure where the player will travel through 15 different connected small games. The player jumps, solves puzzles, mows, golfs, shoots, flies, and more in order to complete the entire game. Our game was created by making a game jam every week for the first semester of our project. If you don't know what a game jam is, a game jam is an event where developers make a small game based on a theme. They are given a certain time period of about 24 hours to about two weeks, just depending on the event. But for our game, we decided to take it into a whole entire project. Our professors provided us with our themes, and we created a small game jam every week based off of those themes. Every game that we created became the levels of our entire game. While we were creating the game, we were cognizant of how the levels would play together or transition. So when we put the games together, it would feel like a connected game overall. Then, for our second semester, we focused in on doing just that making the game feel like a single combined game. We polished every aspect of the game and created the back systems to connect them. Things like a global UI, story, player store, and more. As we did this, we made sure to not change any of the core game, jam, the game jam levels that we created, so that way we would keep the integrity of those game jam games. Well, why did we do this? We developed our game in this style for a number of reasons. The first one, and probably the biggest one, is we wanted to allow us to show off the, our abilities on making different types and genres of games. Also, we got to experience in developing styles of games that we have never tried before. On top of that, it's a unique idea that we've never seen, and in a normal game, if a player does not like a certain part of a game, then they usually have to, they can't enjoy the entire game because they don't like that mechanic. So in our game, with a diversity of play styles, they might not like one section, but another. So it allows them to enjoy parts of the game, even if they don't enjoy the whole thing. So with that, let's see what we made. I hope you enjoyed the trailer that we presented for our game. Um, now we are going to go into a quick summary of each level that is contained within that game. So the first level is Decay. You play as an assembly line worker who sorts out good apples from bad apples. Then we have Endless, a platformer where you must use past versions of yourself to escape an endless cycle. Next we have Excessively Sharp Blades of Grass, a mini game where you must keep the grass maintained by cutting it over for a total of about 60 seconds. Then, exploring dark areas, jetpack your way out of a dark and dangerous cave and return to your spaceship while avoiding obstacles and flying away from a kill barrier. Next is a feature, not a bug. Solve puzzles in a bug-infested world in order to return back to the normal world. Then, keep it alive. Try to keep your job as you must help customers in a 2D shooter slash task-based game. 
Next, we have Lost and Found. Become an Arc Mage by casting Meteorites, Arc Bolts, and teleporting your way through the Mage Trials. Then, we have Management. You must deliver mysterious zero-gravity packages and deal with your manager's rage. The next one after that is Parallel Multiverse. Discover clues to solve puzzles in a parallel dimension, and be wary of who is in the other dimension with you in this scary escape room. Next up is Ritual. Your spaceship is destroyed, and you must complete a minigame in order to restore your ship. The next one is Shifting Mechanics. You must make it to the end of a gauntlet in time, and obstacles impeding your path will change on you. Then, Single Scene Mayhem. See how long you can last in a variety of ever-increasing chaotic minigames. Next is Taste of Metal. Show your moves on the dance floor. As you dance, you might just get a taste of metal. Text-based adventures up next. Delve deeper into the computer that you have fallen into to try and find a password before the computer deletes you. And last, we have This Is Not A Game. Discover more about yourself as you are asked a bunch of moral questions. Then you get to actually experience those moral questions as a reality. Here are some of our features. We have a full game loop, a high score and beatable dev score system, where there are hidden Easter eggs and a subtle story included with those Easter eggs. There is a level select. We also have a store to allow a player to play the game however they want. We also have pause menus and settings some save systems, and some back-end stuff. And with that, that brings us to the end of what we've done for the last eight months in One Last Jam. We have no more time, so this is as much as we have finished. And thank you so much for your time yep, for watching this presentation. Um, if you are interested in our dev cycle or want to try out the game, on the screen here, you can see some links. Uh, they just take us to our websites where you can learn much more information about One Last Jam. Yep. Thanks again. Have a good one.